I've been considering the, the difference of the masculine and feminine influence on children, mother and father. And when I started to create a list of the qualities that a person would want to receive from their mother and their father, I couldn't actually separate them out. <laughs> so I made a list, and you tell me if you only want one of these from one or the other. Strength. Yeah, I'd like strong, strong father, but not so much in a mother. No, not true. I mean, if my mother wasn't strong, I'm not sure we would have survived. And my father had to be strong, because he was just built that way. And I don't say have to, like, because he was a man. I mean, he had a lot to do in his life, so he needed to be strong. So as a little girl, you think having a strong mother and a strong father wasn't important? I say, yep. Protection. Is that a masculine quality or a feminine quality? Anybody want to fight about it? I'll protect myself. <laughs> These are things that at times I have th thought of were very masculine, but they're very feminine. And protection in the animal world is seen by mother bears and chickens putting their, hens putting their chicks under their wings. Inspiration, masculine or feminine? Right, both. Someone who is proud of you. Masculine or feminine? Mother or father? Anyway, the list goes on. The feeling of being loved, the feeling of being valued and seen. I raised these in a list because I couldn't find a list of this is masculine, this is feminine, this is father, this is mother. And it made it more frustrating and more simple. Stop it, Jane. Just stop it. Stop trying to figure it out at that level of differentiation and try knowing it in blended unity. And so what is it about the womb energy in all of us, the feminine energy, that has to do with mother God or just the feminine? Let's just use the feminine. So it is this capacity to be open and receive. Is that not the function of the womb in the human physical? But as a human being, to hold a womb space we're designed to be open and ready to be penetrated by the invisible, to know the experience, to know that we can hold a space uninterrupted, undistracted, and open and available. Mother or father, female, male, feminine, masculine, we all, it is feminine, but it is in all beings. All human beings have this capacity and are designed to constantly be open to the invisible. And masculine, to penetrate? You think that's just a, a mother or father thing? It is a more masculine trait, but we all are designed to penetrate our worlds with the spirit of that which has come when we were open and received it. In the communion of knowing, I am the womb space for receiving the invisible, and I am the capacity that brings it into the world, I know something different than when I'm trying to figure it out and differentiate it. How about you? Have you had that experience of just knowing something that you really could spend a long time trying to describe and never really hit it all on the head because it is an experiential thing? As a conscious being, we have gravity. We have warmth. We have the power to not only invite and create, but to enjoy the experience. A lot of people think th that this is just hard work trying to figure it out. It is hard work figuring it out. It's not so hard to do. Stay open, hold a place that is undistracted and not penetrated by anything other than the invisible and let that move out into your world. I challenge you to do it for 24 hours. <laughs>